Atlanta VA Hospital, the largest VA hospital in the southeast, has extended its suspension on most routine surgeries. This suspension was put in place due to multiple safety concerns, and tonight we're fighting for our veterans. CBS 46's Bo Beth Yates finds out why the facilities are only performing emergency operations. The surgery hold went into effect in September and was supposed to come to an end on October 31st. And while the VA could not confirm when things will be back up and running, we did speak to one vet who says based on his experience, he's not surprised. And they literally almost killed me. I could have been another statistic. Mike Denard Jr. says he went to the VA hospital earlier this year to get his appendix removed, but after his surgery, he ended up with even bigger problems. And they didn't know that I was allergic to a drug called heparin, and I constantly told them that I couldn't breathe. And eventually, they rushed me to the Emory Hospital because I had breathing complications. I had blood clots in my heart, and my lungs, and my leg. Denard says he was also unaware he was allergic to heparin and adds the bigger concern is the lack of attention to detail that caused VA officials to miss his issues, which includes them not bathing him for the entire nine days he was in their care. Because they would bathe me, they would have seen how thick my legs were swollen and say, hey, something going on with this guy and try to find out sooner before I couldn't breathe that I had blood clots. Denard has since filed multiple claims against the VA for malpractice and negligence. He says his story supports part of the bigger concern as to why some non-emergency surgeries at the hospital have been placed on hold. The VA would not confirm the details as to what prompted the hold, but says they have now started increasing capacity while ensuring the highest quality of care for veterans. But CBS 46 did confirm through multiple sources that lack of staff and a shortage of sterilized equipment could be partly to blame. They could do more than what they're doing. First of all, start by hiring people who have a caring attitude for our veterans and have empathy for them, not just treat them like trash because they're not trash. CBS 46 did ask VA officials if the shortage of sterilized equipment had anything to do with sterigenics. They told us the two are unrelated. Back to you. Thank you, Bo Beth. We are committed to fighting for our vets. If you know a vet who is not getting the benefits that they have earned and deserve, let us know. Email us at fightingforourvets at cbs46.com.